Hey guys, how's it going everybody? My name is Blitzwinger and ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to a brand new Ben 10 Customs video here on the Blitzwinger YouTube channel and of course for the LEGO DC Super Villains Customizer. So we're going to go on ahead and put together another Ben 10 Alien today. We've already up until this point done 12 different designs, so make sure to go check out the channel. I have a specific playlist made for all those designs so if you haven't seen them go check them out because i know a lot of people have been asking for some aliens that we've already done like heat blast for example or uh, for example we've designed um accelerate we've designed diamond head feedback ghost freak upgrade humangosaur big chill rip jaws alien x forearms those are all characters that we've done before but today we're gonna work on an alien that we haven't designed yet actually our latest alien was this guy right here which was gray matter thank you guys so very much for the support on that guy now Today, we're going to work on a brand new design. So I went into the comment section and looked at one of the suggestions that was at the very top, and that was from Gaming Thunder, who says, I think another alien you can make is Swamp Fire. So I looked up Swamp Fire, and I was like, you know what? We can make that alien. I don't know why I said it like that. We can make this alien. So <laughs> why are you talking like that, dude? What's wrong with you? But I said, we can make this alien. And that is exactly what we're going to go on ahead and do today. We're going to do our very, very best to put together the design for Swamp Fire. So essentially, it looks like a character that's half swamp, half fire. I know it's a little on the nose, but seriously, I, that's what it looks like. So we're going to do our very, very best to... Go on ahead and design him here today. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, if you enjoyed today's video, please consider hitting that like button. That's always very, very appreciated. Thank you so very much for your support. And, of course, like always, guys, also, if you can, down in the comment section below, leave a comment with what alien we should design next time. As soon as this video hits 500 likes, I'll get the next video live. So I'll look at the comment section of this video, see what top comment is uh, with a new alien suggestion that we haven't done yet. And then we're going to build that alien. So leave a suggestion down in the comment section below. I don't know if we're like running out of aliens. Because I'm assuming since he's called Ben 10, there was only 10 aliens. But we've already designed 12. So obviously there's more than 10 aliens available. But regardless, out of the ones that we've missed, let me know which ones. If you don't have uh, an idea for an alien that you want to suggest yourself, please just scroll through the comments and maybe you see one that you're like, oh, I'd love to see that design and just thumbs up that comment so that then I know like, oh, okay, that's the one that you guys are most curious about seeing. So with that in mind, let's get to work on Swamp Fire. So step one is going to be, I guess let's adjust some of the abilities because I think that'll be important here. So first of all, he does not have a grow ability. I don't think so, at least. Um, ooh, that's a good question. Can he fly? Fly. I don't think he can fly. He doesn't look like he has any wings or anything like that. He looks like he's just kind of a ground character, at least for the most part. So I'm going to stick with a grounded character. So we'll just give him a double jump. We do want to make it different than the one we had for Gray Matter. So let's see. Um, these jumps are all the same. That's weird, right? Okay. It is what it is, I guess. That's really odd, though, honestly. I don't understand why they're the exact same uh, design over and over and over again. But okay. Um, I guess we'll just let it be. But that's really strange, honestly. Okay. Um, so I do kind of want to give him a flame effect on the hands because I think that would be sort of cool and it'll make him look a little bit different compared to some of the other designs. So we'll do that in just a second. But first, um, let's give him a bolt ability. And this time, what we want to do is make the bolts look like fireballs. Because I definitely see in one of the pictures here, when I googled uh, images, that he can create fireballs or like throw fireballs, I guess. Uh, that's too orange. Huh. Ooh. Oh, that looks cool. I like that. The bright orange. The arms being blue, though, it really does throw me off. So we need to adjust that for sure. All right. We have the fireballs figured out. Uh, let's give him a hold ability as well. And I think for the hold ability, I wonder if, if he does have an element to him that has like a swamp ability as well. I'm almost thinking maybe we should give him some sort of like a green um, shield or something like that. Because I think that could be kind of neat. But then everything I see as far as like the powers of the character, it looks like it's mostly fire. So I think that that's what we have to stick to so that we're as accurate as possible. So um, I guess in order to do that, um, we could give him a beam, like a fire beam. Yeah, I think that could be kind of cool, right? 
So let's do this. We're going to adjust this. Let's make the beam maybe even brighter. Sort of like yellowish. Uh, I think the... Eh. We're going to need to change the design because it looks pretty terrible. So it's a heat beam. And then the actual look of it. That looks much better. That looks even better. Nope. Nope. That looks like electricity. We need one that has kind of like... There we go. I think that one has like... Almost like a flaming sort of effect. And we'll do both hands. So it's like super concentrated blast sort of. There we go. You know? So I think that looks good. All right. Fantastic. So that's great. We got that figured out. Um, a few other things we need to change. Uh... Heart is perfect. We got the green recolor there. We will give him an animation of... I'm thinking maybe sort of like a trickster type character. Yeah, I think that one would work really well. Or personality, sorry. All right, so we have a lot of that figured out. Now we're just going to start with the appearance, which is, of course, the most important part that we work on for the characters. Um, so let's pick something that looks a little bit more flaming, like that. And then, obviously, adjust the color on it. So we could go with this. Excellent. And then for the other hand, glow effect, style number two. And then we need to adjust this also to... I could go maybe even with this, but nah, I feel like that's too orange. I mean, like, too red. Uh, more so than even orange. So we have that. That looks pretty neat. Um, if we do give him, like, a ground pound attack... It's because he's a trickster, so he has the... Punch attack come up, which is pretty funny looking, actually. So we'll need to adjust that, I guess. Yeah, can't give him the trickster ability, I guess. Not anymore. Because I think that's what makes the ground pound what it is. So if we change this to martial artist, and then we go back to appearance, go back to effect, and then go back to this. Let's see what it would look like. Yeah, you see? Now he's got like a proper ground pound ability. Okay, cool. Uh, we have the hit impacts. Uh, I think whatever looks more like flaming, which I guess that does. Okay, so I think that's the base. Now we got to get to actually designing the character. So let's start with the things that are sort of easier on this guy. Um, so for the hips, for example... Oh man, he's got like a very specific color of green that this character is. It's almost like kind of... Kind of like this, honestly. It's kind of like army green, sort of. So I think that's what we're going to try to do. Now, for the legs, we could go just simple with something like this and just go with that, which would be somewhat accurate. But I want to try to find something that maybe has kind of like a roots look or could have that sort of effect, almost like this, you know? where it will look more like tree stump because it looks like he's kind of like a swamp type character. So Clayface works really well for this, actually. So I think that's our best contender so far. Let's see what the Envy legs look like. Mm, not that accurate. Kind of looks more like scales than roots going into the ground. And that's what we're trying to replicate is sort of almost like building Groot, I guess, to an extent, which is kind of funny. So Swamp Fire is the Groot of the Ben 10 universe. Um, this could look kind of interesting. Let's take a look. Mm, it's all right, but I feel like it's a little bit too much of a, like, symmetrical pattern going on, which, whereas we want to have something a little bit more broken apart, kind of like the clay face look had. Um, yeah. I wonder what this would look like. Looks cool, but not very accurate. It's just weird because you see the base, the very base of the Swamp Fire look. He does have, like, some sort of, almost like a rock that he's holding on, and there's, like, a black design to it. So I'm trying to figure out if we could find something like that. Because that would be cool if we could. But I don't see anything that's even like remotely close to that, unfortunately. I wish there was something where we could be like, yes, perfect. That looks exactly like what we need. But so far, no luck. What about this, actually? Oh, okay. That only recolors the top part. It keeps the legs the way they are, which... Unfortunately, is not... Or the boots, sorry, the way they are. It's unfortunately not what we need. All right. So I think we're going to go with the clay face look because I think that's going to give us the closest sort of look that we're going to get. I mean, yes, we could make the argument that we could just go with this, for example, and then go with a recolor like that. But I feel like that's... 
a lot more of the black boots than he actually has in the design. So I, I don't know. I just feel like it's less accurate um, than something like the clay face look. Although, man, that's tough. It's really tough to decide here because it does look kind of accurate as well. You know? Maybe we should go with the, uh, with the black boots. Yeah, I think we should. I think we probably should. Because I feel like it does look a little bit better overall. And at least it's closer to the design that we're working on uh, too. So, um, I guess that's pretty good there. Pretty accurate. We do need to remove the tail, that's for sure. Because as far as I can tell uh, from the Google images, although all the pictures are from the front here, so I don't know. I hope he doesn't have a tail. That would be awkward because it's like, you missed the tail, dude. He has a tail or something like that. It is interesting because some of the images here, like if you scroll well way down, they do have one that looks more like a dragon, which is kind of cool because he's got like wings and stuff. So I don't know what that's all about, but it almost looks like an action figure more so than like something from the show. So I'm assuming it's not as accurate as what we're building. All right. Now, luckily, this torso is actually perfect for uh, this design. So we're going to go with it. Uh, we do need that kind of dark green look. Oh, wow. That's weird, man. I'm realizing now that the image I'm looking at, there's another variation of him where he's got like a way greener color than this navy green. And then the toy here has like a completely neon green color. Hmm. It's interesting. I guess the one we're building is called Ben 10 Ultimate Alien Design. That's the design we're going for or like trying to get as close to as possible. So just to give you guys a heads up so that you know exactly what we're working on. Um, okay, so that's pretty good. Um, arms, we do need to just change to that. Um, and then the act, or sorry, the hands, the actual arms. Now, this is going to be the tricky part because he does have red spikes on his shoulders. Uh, so that's going to be tough to do. Um, so most of the arms should be just green. He does have some spikes on the arms as well, but again, so, like, something like this would work really well here. Um, it works, but we need the spikes to be red. So, let's look around and see. Ooh, what about this? Because those are, like, red diamonds. Oh, but they're only on one side. Of course they're only on one side. Why, man? That would have been so good. That would have worked out so well for us. Darn it. Mm, okay, let's think. Let's think. What about this? Okay, well, that's way too much red. <laughs> that's that's not just a couple of red spikes on the arms. That takes that to a whole different level. Oh, man. Please. Please tell me there's something that we could use. There's nothing. There's nothing there. Darn it, man. Ah, okay, let's think. Let's think. Let's think. So another idea that I just got as we were scrolling through. Let me see what this looks like, by the way. I'm curious. That actually looks kind of cool, too. Because it kind of looks like spikes and things like that. So, I think the best look so far, though, um, was probably this. But then, we still need the shoulder pads, spikes. So, could we use something here to create that illusion? That's the question. Like, for example, even something like this. With like red. You know? Kind of bringing that design in. At least trying to at least. So we sort of get like. A shoulder pad design. Man. This is proving a lot more difficult than I thought it would. I mean that gives you a lot of spikes. That's not really what we need. Um. I guess that could give us red spikes, but that also gives us a big giant tail. So that wouldn't work. Oh, man. I was really hoping the shoulder pads would kind of look decent, but they really don't, unfortunately. Man, oh, man. It's one of those moments where it's like you wish you had more control over the recolors. Like if we could just recolor those top spikes on his arm there, red, this would be perfect, you know? Like, we would be like, yay, perfect, we did it, <laughs> it looks excellent. Oh, man, this stinks. How could we possibly figure out some way to give him red shoulder pads? 
I mean, I guess like that sort of works. You know? Because we get the bright red shoulder pads, but... I don't know. I just don't really like the way it looks. Could we maybe use one of these? Would that look any better? I mean, this is going to just look ridiculous. Yep. Just like I thought. Uh, that's not going to help here. Yeah, I don't think any of these would help. Man, that stinks. I was really, really hoping we could figure out a way... To do the red shoulder spikes somehow, some way. I mean, I'm not gonna lie, I think this looks cool, but it's just way too much. Like, he does not have that many red shoulder spikes everywhere. He does have, like, there's a couple of images where it looks like he has more of them, like, where it's not just two or three, but it's not nearly this many. Although, this looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie, like, I actually think that looks cool. I think this is probably gonna look more accurate if we put, like, a few of them just like this so i think that's what we'll do we'll go with like the fewer design uh just to try to maintain that look okay now comes the most difficult aspect of this character and that's the head sculpt we need to figure that out now the face is actually pretty good already because it's pretty much exactly what we need the green eyes uh the smirk and the um um i think the face is mostly black it looks like in some Im images, it's like really, really dark red and black. Uh, but I think we'll keep the black design going here. And then we need to figure out how to do the flaming hair. Which, luckily, there is a piece like that in the game. So that's fantastic for us. Because we could just use, for example, this. But that's a little too much, if you ask me. It's a little overkill. But this, on the other hand, works really, really well for what we're going for. So it would be this. Now, if we can, try to get it a little bit more red. So these are the color swaps, I guess. So you're recoloring the underneath design. How the heck can we get it to be more red? It's always orange. I mean, that's not true, I guess. It does become several different renditions. But let's just scroll through all of them and see. What mixed with orange becomes red? I don't even know. Maybe pink, but it wasn't really changing. Yeah. Okay, so it looks like we're going to have to stick with, like, an orange. Let's go with that, for say, or let's say. And then, what I want to do is to add even more to it. We'll add... I'm trying to think if we could add, like, a beard, almost. In red. You know? To try to introduce a little bit of that color. Um, that sort of looks cool, actually. Because <laughs> I'm trying to give him that, like, jawline that the character has where it's, like, very spiky forward. And it's obviously difficult to do. Okay, that's... That actually looks really cool. I'm not gonna lie. I think that's a little overkill, but honestly... You know what? We're going to go with it. It's it's way over the top. I know. I think this one's probably more accurate. It's a little bit slimmer, but we lose the face um, that way, like the actual head sculpt. Whereas this way, you kind of maintain like the area for the mouth, I feel like. And I, I don't know. I feel like it's a little overkill, but I think that it looks cool. So we'll go with it. All right. So there we are. We've put together Swamp Fire, everybody. Now, of course, don't forget, guys, if you design your own variations on these characters, you can always share those over on Twitter or Instagram at Blitzwinger. Uh, is it swamp dash fire or is it all one word? Let me take a look. I think it's all one word. That's how I typed it into um, Google at least. And that's the character that came up. So I hope I'm right. And that's the way that um, who suggested it again? Uh, Gaming Thunder wrote it also as one word. So I hope we're both correct about that. So let's go take a look at our design of Swampfire. Ladies and gentlemen, our newest alien from the Ben 10 universe was Swampfire. Of course, we've already created Grey Matter and Swampfire, so this is pretty cool. We've got two new aliens going. Uh, of course, if you guys want to see other ones, like I said at the very top of this video, hit that like button. As soon as this video hits 500 likes, the next one will go live. Here's Swampfire. He does have the ability to throw fireballs. He does have the ability to do a cool ground pound attack with, like, flames. He has a teleporter. As well as a flame attack. So that's pretty legitimately awesome. And so we have now Ben 10 transforming into Swamp 
fire. So let me know what you guys think of the design here today. I'm actually really, 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 really stoked of the design that we managed to come up with. I think we did a pretty excellent job here today. Let me know what you guys think. I'm definitely curious to hear your opinions and your thoughts down in the comments section below. Whoa, that looks terrifying. So, of course, like always, don't forget to have an absolutely fantastic day. Hit that like button, guys, and let me know which other aliens we should be designing. Have an absolutely fantastic day, guys, and I'll see you later, alligators.